Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can build your own community or social media platform. Now this solution that I'm going to share with you today is really, really, really powerful and you can customize literally anything without coding. It's all blocks and apps that you can add and they all work seamlessly together to create a really powerful platform that you can monetize. Okay, so let's get started. Very good. So for this, we are going to use Una CMS. So the website is unacms.com. And as you can see, this is the platform for communities. So all in one framework that you can use to build independent custom social media network. And the way it works is just simply by adding blocks. As you can see, you can just add them and it will look absolutely fantastic. Now you may be wondering how much does it cost? So let me show you. So as you can see you have three different plans here so you have do it yourself managed and tailored so if it's managed they look after everything it's hosted and everything for you as you can see it's 490 per month now you have to do it yourself so you can host it yourself on your own sorry this is 49 dollars per month or you can use their own hosting as well. If you add a hosting plan, like for instance, Cloud4, as you can see, it goes straight to 132. And you can also add add-ons, like for instance, a 10 hour service or something like this. And as you can see, now you're almost at 1400 per month. Now, obviously this is yearly, so they can only charge you for 12 months, 12 times this amount. And if you go on monthly, it's gonna cost you 1699. What? Okay, I know what you're thinking. That's quite expensive, right? Well, don't worry, I've got you. Check this special offer here on the AppSumo website. Check this out, 69 US dollars only. This is a lifetime deal, so you pay this once and it's yours forever. So Una CMS on AppSumo, 69 US dollars only. And then you have different tier pricing as well. 69 is for one domain name, tier 2, 199, that's for three domains and unlimited use on 10 domains, this is 399. And again, this is a one-time purchase, so you pay this once and it's yours forever. Okay guys, so once you log into your unacms.com account, it will bring you to your dashboard. So initially, you have to create a new project. So that's the first thing we need to do. So I'm just gonna put Mr. Web here as an example and then create project. And then next you need to enter your domain name. So this could be a temporary URL, as you can see, site.una.io, so mrweb.una.io, or your domain name.com. So in our case, we registered learn with mrweb.com and this will be hosted with Hostinger. So this is the hosting package that we're going to use, okay? So now we go back here and enter our domain name, so learn with mrweb.com, and then submit. And right here, you get a quick preview of the website. So obviously we get an error 403 at the moment because there's nothing uploaded on the server yet. So the first step is to download Una Core. Okay, so click on this, download the file, save it on your hard drive. And once you've downloaded the file, we go back to our server and we're gonna start installing it, okay? So with hosting, make sure you selected the right domain name and then right here by the side of all these different options. So what we need to do is to access the files first, okay? So we go to files, file manager and this is the option here so click on this and it will open up in a new tab so go to your public html folder so your root folder as you can see there's nothing here at the moment so what we're going to do is to upload that file okay so select this upload upload a file and here's the file we downloaded okay so open so as you can see now this is uploaded on our server it's 55.66 megabyte so no problem at all now click on this and then extract this right here okay so extract and we are going to extract this in our root folder so i'm just going to put a dot here and then extract very good so as you can see that's done and it created a new folder for us so if you open this these are all our files so what we need to do is to select them all okay so Control a and then right click now we're going to move them back to the root folder okay so as you can see this is the one here with the two dots and then move very good so we're back to our root folder so all the files were moved over and now we can delete the temporary folder here so delete and then delete and we can do the same with our main zip file here. So we can delete this. We don't need that anymore. And now we can run the installation. So we can close this for now. And then let's go to our website. So we go to the front end. Very good. So as you can see, Una 14.0 installation. And then we can start the installation. Okay, so I'll click on this. So as you can see, it's going to run a few checks about permissions and all that. So everything should be okay. And then continue. And right here, as you can see, have the site configuration. So first is the site path. So this is normally our URL and then the site directory. And then if you scroll down, as you can see, you're going to host this on localhost. And now we need a few details. So we have to create a database now. Okay. So we need the database name, username and password. So let's create that together. Okay. So we go back to hosting here. Scroll down the page, database, and then we go to management. 
and make sure that this is a MySQL database, nothing else, okay? So as you can see, you have to enter the name and the username. So I will start with something like this, you know, and then put the database name. So I'm just going to type here maybe Una underscore and then CMS maybe in lower cases and then the username. I'm going to use the exact same and then create a password, okay? So now we can create this. As you can see, the database was created successfully and now we can go back here and let's enter our details so the database name was una underscore cms but the username was the same una underscore cms now for security reason i would highly recommend that you don't use the same obviously you know but uh, it's just again as an example here and then i'm going to enter the password so I'll type your password here and then scroll down the page and then we have the site info so the title site email admin email username and password okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna fill this out very quickly now so there you go perhaps something like this okay and then scroll down and now we need to add our una key and una secret and for this we go back to our una cms dashboard and here we have the key and secret so this is the key so Control c and then Control v and do the same with the other one okay so Control c and then Control v and then scroll down the page and then select your language the template that you want to use and the profile and then click submit excellent so as you can see the installation has been successfully completed and now obviously for security reason we have to remove the install folder so we go back to hostinger here uh, we go to files file manager we go back here public html and there it is okay so delete the whole folder so delete delete and that's it so now let's go back to our front end as you can see it's learn with mr web forward slash install etc etc so delete all this now okay and let's go back to our main uh url and there you go as you can see now una cms is installed on our own server so this is the home page and now we can customize everything as we see fit very good so let's read this together so at first there isn't much here install more apps via studio add more blocks via studio pages home page create profile appoint admins and then post some content and your site will come alive so we have to take care of this now you see you know so let's click next and then as you can see here we're happy enough so done now if you hover on top of your profile as you can see you have the studio here so this is what we need to access to configure all the different apps that we want to put in place on the website so I'll click on this as you can see welcome to una studio and then studio is where you customize your site add and manage apps control languages and design set membership levels and permissions build pages and navigations and a lot more so you are now in studio launcher so let's click on next and then again they will remind you of everything you know so go through this it's pretty self-explanatory from here so i'm just going to click next 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 okay and there you go now we're done okay so right here you have your app library so these are all the apps that you can use to build your website as you can see you have badges you have roles permissions settings app market designer and so on now these are not the only ones that you can use there's a lot more obviously so if you go to the app market here and then if you go to storefront as you can see all these different categories of advertisement affiliates content e-commerce uh, hosting management navigation and so on and so on so what i would do initially is probably go to the most popular ones and have a look through them you know so some of them are paid as you can see point system if it uh, pos uh, system is 85 dollars which is not too bad if you think of it you know so here what you have you have messenger discussions if you want to add that to your uh, platform you can do so you have market uh, right here have payments if you want to get paid and things like this you know so that's really up to you what you want to do you have push notifications as well so most of them are free to be honest you know but if you want additional features sometimes you might have just to invest a bit of money like maybe 30 dollars or something like this to get one specific app that will solve your problem obviously you know so as you can see there's loads and loads and loads of them so to install one all you have to do is basically click on it so uh, let's say we're going to install messenger so download very good uh, the download discussions maybe and let's see we want to get paid so we're going to install market as well to create a marketplace download and obviously you want to get paid as you said you know so download this one perhaps and there you go so now if you go back to uh, your main launcher here your dashboard well they will not be here automatically what you have to do is basically go back to your app market as you can see you need to install them manually so install this one install that one install 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 so there you go so basically when you go to the app market and it says install is basically download it and install it on your server you still need to enable it and activate it like we just did now if you go back to launcher 
as you can see now they're all here okay so now let's click on any of them just as an example here so maybe market and as you can see it will open up in the menu section and these are all the settings related to that specific app that you can customize obviously so if you go back to the launcher as you can see your app will stay there and everything you work on will display here in the dashboard until you log out and log in again so as you can see you have pages you have navigations you have forms or permissions so these are basically all the blue ones are your main essential ones all your main settings and everything that's colorful like this is basically additional apps uh, that will help you build your platform okay and if you go to the front end you will find discussions and market that were added to your menu section obviously the menu section you can customize this as well so if you go back to studio you go to navigation as you can see I have the site navigation here so I'll click on that you can see home, about, search, person, discussion, market. Now, if you want to hide some of them or maybe delete them all together, you can either delete or you can use the toggle switch here. So if I was to remove these, for instance, you know, now we can go back to the front end and refresh. And as you can see, they will not display in the front end. And the other way around, if you wanted to show them, basically use the toggle switch, go back here and they will show up again. OK, so this is very easy to use, as you can see. OK, so now let me show you how you can build your website the way you want it. So as you can see, the home page is nothing here. Maybe you want to add uh, like groups like uh, you have on Facebook or something like this, you know, or maybe your own specific app. So how can you customize everything? Again, we go back here now, go back to launcher and right here with pages. OK, so first click on this. And as you can see, it's not displaying any pages at the moment. So what you have to do is select page. So I have all these pre-built pages. But again, you can customize literally everything. As you can see, about, audit, change password, followers, following the friends request friends so this is very similar to uh, let's say facebook or any of those social media platforms you know and then you can customize literally everything from inside those pages so let me show you how this works so let's open the dashboard here as an example so as you can see you have sections and inside those sections you can insert blocks so here we have manage membership limits content and so on and so on so if you click on this each and every block that you install on your page that will display in the front end you can customize its content as well and how it will interact with everything else on your platform so if i click on this and here are all the options related to that block as you can see you have the block layout so which one do you want to choose as you can see there's the one here content plus title plus background plus padding and then uh, the type of menu you want to display, display on which devices, different user level. As you can see, this is only for moderator and admin. And then scroll down, you have all these different options. Okay, then once you're done, you click save. And that's basically it. So where are all these blocks? Well, it's very simple. If you go here on top, add block, and then you can select among all these different blocks. You can see this is skeleton. So this is all the, the essential ones. So you have raw, HTML, RSS, image, uh, what well, you have a language menu and customs and then you have all those related to the system of your platform so as you can see memberships about terms of service privacy policy and then if you scroll down as you can see you have all the different apps that you added you can also use blocks related to those apps so if you go to market as you can see here you'll have everything related to your products featured product your own products manage all product new products product categories so you can display all of this directly on your pages and if you go to message you can see these are contact and messengers and persons as well so all the apps that you install will have its own set of blocks that you can use on your pages so that's basically how it works okay and once you're done with your page you can have a quick preview you know so view page and this is what it will look like in the front end as you can see it has its own menu so dashboard subscriptions orders invoices and licenses and these are all the blocks that are active that uh, your users can see and again only active blocks will display because at the moment i haven't created my profile and i haven't purchased anything as you can see normally it should show the growth chart and everything and the content obviously you know but at the moment i don't have anything because i'm just a new user but once your visitors come on your website and start interacting with the different apps that you have different people and all that all of this will populate automatically okay so let's go back to our studio for a second in the app market and we go to featured so as you can see here with groups and timelines so this is really like something uh, similar to facebook you know you can create your own groups and all that and the timeline as well so we're going to install this as well and then if you go to download it they already activated so let's go back to our page and as you can see now we have everything related to our timeline and as you can see of extra blocks here of post to feed all feeds timeline and all feeds outline but you can see that's a fully interactive platform and it would work for all the pages obviously as you can see there's so many of them here you know and you can also create your own page if you wanted to so if you go back to pages here add new page 
And then all I have to do is give it a title. So I'm just going to say test page and then the title test and then the URL will be created automatically. But you can change this if you want it to, you know, uh, to for SEO purposes, for instance. So the type of page here, as you can see, without header, uh, standard or application. So let's go with the standard page. And for the menu, which type of menu do you want to display? The one from the home page, your account dashboard, and so on, so on, or maybe none at all, okay? So I'm just gonna select maybe here from the account dashboard, and then you can create your page as well, you know? So here you have a few different options. You have SEO visibility, but those are pretty self-explanatory. So I'll create the page, and now you can start adding your blocks, just like with the other pages, you know? So you can select anything. So maybe that page is all related to, I don't know, Messenger or your groups or something like this. You can start adding all these different elements. So let's go maybe and add featured groups, uh, the, the group that you joined, uh, those that you follow, and maybe, uh, I don't know, let's say search maybe, okay, and search results as well. So let's add this. So add to page. There you go. And that's how easy it is. And now you can move them around as well. Uh, drag and drop and move them uh, the way you want, you know. And then if you want to have a quick look what it looks like, click on this again. And that's basically it. As you can see, search from here on top, the, ju the, the group that you joined and so on and so on as you can see all the blocks are stacked up on top of each other uh, so maybe not uh, pleasing to the eye you know you might want to change this so for this we go back to pages you go to your settings and here you have layout and here you can see you have all these different options you know to choose from so maybe i'm going to select something more like this okay and you can put a small menu or different items by the side so apply very good and now we can move them around okay so let's say the search form can remain here. I'm going to move all the others here. So the joint, the group I joined, the group I follow, and maybe the search results, maybe here at the bottom, okay? So let's have a quick look again. So let's refresh. And you go, as you can see, that looks different. Now you can narrow down your searches here. Maybe you are uninterested in, in general and business. And obviously this will apply to your results here on your page as well. So again, as you can see, all the pages are fully customizable and they interact with each other. So this is the beauty of this system, you know, and once you're done, that's it. You have your pages created and you can create as many as you want. Now, you see all these different apps here come with their own sets of pages. So if you go to market, for instance, if you go to pages, as you can see, you have pre-made pages as well. If you go to payments, these are different pages, obviously, as well, you know. So if you go back to system here, these are all your system pages. So this is related to your account, uh, changing your password, login, logout, and all that, obviously, you know. So feel free to use any of those sections, again, to customize your website. And your own pages will be in custom, as you can see, I have a home page here and the test page. So if I click back on this, as you can see, this is the page we just created ourselves. And if you wanted to customize your actual home page, like we have here, you know, if you click on home, this is what we have at the moment. You can easily change this as well. Now you go back to system pages as you can see about us page here and if you scroll down you find the home page with 19 different uh, blocks here as well and again you can customize this exactly the way you want by adding your blocks and also in the settings select your own layout etc etc so there you have it guys a really powerful solution to build your own community or social media platform now if you'd like to give it a go as always i'll leave all the links in the description below Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.